Okay, hey guys. Um, I know I'm late starting this, but uh, I just wanted to show you my new house that I moved into um, last month. I had to wait until I was moved in ready before I started uh, filming what the inside of it looks like. But uh, this is the living room, and I will be remodeling this house. It's very outdated. This was actually the house that my dad lived in before he passed away, and uh, this was also the house that I grew up in when I was little. This is my grandfather's house, and he decided that I could live in it because where I was currently living, I wasn't liking where I was at, and so I just wanted to come back home, and it's just me and my two kids, ignore my son screaming at my dog in the background, but this is my mom and dad. Uh, my dad passed away when I was four, and that's what he looked like. My mom is still alive. Uh, she did get remarried when I was 12 years old. And uh, this is basically just my collection of stuff. And then uh, this photo of my dad. I don't know if you can really see it that good. This is what he looked like before he passed away. He gives me like very like Brad Pitt vibes but uh with short hair I think he looks like Brad Pitt but with long hair I think he looks like Kurt Cobain but basically he was your 80s uh metalhead pothead whatever you want to call it dude and then this is him and my mom when they went to homecoming and then this is him in his uh football uniform then we're gonna go in through here. This is the hallway. The attic uh, does not work, or else I would show you the attic. But it's like very stuff up. Uh, bleh, sorry, it's just not workable to go in there. And then here's the bathroom. Uh, the floors will be getting redone sometime this summer. I need new floors. Um, I will be replacing this. This is the uh, vanity. It's very outdated and just just not in working order right now. And this is the little closet. I'm hoping that I can expand this maybe. Hopefully. This is my bedroom. Excuse my bed. I haven't made it yet. I'm going to turn on the light. Bryson, quit yelling in there. This is my bedroom. I will be getting rid of that bed frame and getting one that matches my furniture. I couldn't take my other bed that I had with me because it was a king and it wouldn't have been able to fit in that room. If it was able to fit, it would have been a very tight squeeze. This is my kids' rooms. And then that door leads into the bathroom slash laundry room. I will show you in a second. This is the kitchen. The kitchen is get definitely getting remodeled. It is just hideous. The floors will be getting redone. The walls will be getting repainted. That will be getting painted. This is the table. I'm hoping to get uh, my kitchen that looks somewhat like this, like gray and black themed. The cabinets will be getting replaced. The countertops replaced. Um, this space right here We'll be having a dishwasher and more counter room. And then this leads into the laundry room. I will eventually make this into my son's room. I would just have to put the washer and dryer down into the basement, which I will show you in just a second. The basement will be getting remodeled so that way I can able I can be able to put the washer and dryer down there. This is my bathroom. The only thing that really needs to be done in here is just painted and I'm hoping to get like shelves put in here to put my body washes and shampoos and stuff on those shelves. And then here's the basement. The thing about the basement is when my grandmother, this is normally where the washer and dryer was, but the thing is about the basement is my grandmother slipped and fell. That's why those rails are there. The rails are not there when this happened. She slipped and failed and busted her head up against the brick wall down there. Um, she broke her neck and she was still able to climb up the steps. Well, I guess not climb, like crawl up the steps because she heard her sister from upstairs ringing the doorbell. 
and she had to be put into a halo to straighten up her neck um, for eight weeks and that she said that was torture but that's why the washer and dryer is up there because my grandfather built a laundry room up there and that was why but this basement used to give me the creeps but basically all that will be knocked down to make more space new walls we put up the floors will be redone and then I can make this into like a laundry room slash entertainment center or movie room or whatever I want to do with it. And then I will show you the outside. But yeah, that basement used to scare me to death when I was little. Like I was scared to go down there. Alright, I'll show you the outside. Yeah, we have a pool. We swim in it every summer when my grandfather opens it up. There's the garage. And my brother's house is the little white house next door with the red tin roof. But yeah, um, I'm very lucky to have gotten this house. And I can't wait to start renovating it and making it into a pretty little home. But, um... I will do a story time on how my dad passed away. It's just a very long story. But the short sum of it is uh, he came home to my mom. And the day after he dropped dead right in front of her. So uh, I will explain more of that in a story time. But she did get remarried to my stepfather, Don. He's been a great stepdad. Um, known him since I was 12. He ended up having three sons of his own from a previous relationship so I was able to gain three stepbrothers and uh I don't call them my stepbrothers I call them my brothers because they are just like I call him my dad which he is and uh hope you guys enjoyed that